A mother faces the man charged with murdering her nine year old son. Good evening, everyone. I'm Steve Hensley and I'm Morgan Lentis. Randall Wells was killed last week in a car crash. This morning, 36 year old Jason Combs went before a judge in Perry County for the first time. WIMT's Brittany Nada talked to the boy's mother, who says it is hard to hear details of the crash, but says she will never miss a court date. The healing process stalls for the mother of nine year old Randall Wells as she faces the man charged with murdering her son. It's a promise to my baby. It's a promise I'm going to keep. Wells died last month when the car he and his mother Toby were in was hit head on by 36 year old Jason Combs. In court Tuesday morning, troopers testified that Combs admitted to snorting cocaine and other drugs the night of the crash. I made a few measurements and let's see him to the hospital to make contact with the driver. I wasn't really sure where he was at, what drug he was on, and what it had. Perry County District Court Judge Leanne Stevens sent the case to a grand jury. As long as he spends the rest of his life in jail, I'll be satisfied. But it ain't right for him to be sitting in jail. At the roof over his head, a bed to sleep in, three meals to eat, and my baby laying in the ground. You know, it's no right. No right. Well, says she will not miss a day in court. Yeah, I'll be there every chance I get. Every chance I get, I will be there. I will see this through for my baby. One final promise to her son. In Perry County, Brittany Nauta, WYMT Mountain News. Combs' attorneys say they are still in the initial phase of collecting and processing evidence and do not want to comment until.